Hi guys, my name is Shrenik Jain and in this video we will see the gate questions on the topic periodic or non-periodic signals. So the first question we have is this and the prerequisite for this course or for this video is please do watch my videos on periodic or non-periodic signal like I have covered all the basics and tricks. So please do watch that and then you watch this video because it would be easy to understand. So the question is 30 sin 100 t plus 10 cos 300 t plus 6 sin 500 t plus pi by 4 if this is the equation of let's say x of t then what is the fundamental frequency in radian per second now the options are this now first i can say that orally you can solve this question by the trick and the trick first i will explain the trick is since we have to find what frequency in radian per second now which frequency is this frequency is radian per second or this frequency is radian per second so answer is this is the frequency which is in radian per second so first basic is this now you have to find this and already you are given as omega 1 as you are given 100 omega 2 is given as 300 omega 3 is given as 500 so what is omega omega is hcf of this so the hcf is 100 so answer is a very simple if you don't know this trick what you can do is you can follow the normal step so let's see that but if you don't know the trick what you can do is first you can say that omega 1 is 100 and that's why you can say f1 would be you can say that is equal to 100 by 2 pi correct 100 by 2 pi and similarly omega 2 omega 3 and for that f2 f3 and you can find then t1 t2 and t3 so t1 value would be 2 pi by 100 t2 value would be 2 pi by 300 t3 value would be 2 pi by 500 so once you get t1 t2 t3 your next step would be taking the lcm of the numerator and hcf of the denominator so the answer would be 2 pi by 100 because lcm of 2 pi 2 pi 2 pi is 2 pi hcf of 100 300 500 is 100 so this is the value and this is the fundamental period but you need the fundamental frequency now you can say that t is equal to 1 by f so 1 by f is equal to 2 pi by 100 and now 100 is equal to 2 pi f now this is equal to omega so the omega value is 100 so this is the lengthy method once you know the trick the answer is simple so the next gate question we have is this discrete time signal x of n is given as sine of pi square n where n is the integer now the options are a periodic with period pi b periodic with period pi square c periodic with period pi by 2 and d non periodic so for discrete time signal i have already given you the steps so the steps are omega is pi square that is equal to 2 pi f so f is equal to pi by 2 correct if that's true then you can say it is equal to k by n and now k by n ratio is rational sorry it is irrational because pi is present so it is irrational if it is irrational it is non-periodic so the answer is d simple so these are pretty simple gate questions if you know the steps if you know the formula and if you know the tips and tricks you can solve the gate question handy very handy so let's see one more question so the last question we have is the question is pretty simple it is in lines let me explain in better way suppose i have one signal x of t and it is periodic so x of t is given as periodic and the period given as t so it is periodic and the fundamental period is t now if i sample it uniformly with you can say the period ts if i sample this and the period is ts i will get one discrete signal discrete time signal and it would be let's say nts so they are asking in which of the following cases our sample signal is periodic whether it is periodic in this whether it is periodic in this whether it is always periodic whatever we do the sampling like ts whatever we do it is periodic or it is never periodic so the question is x of t we have periodic and the period is t if we sample with ts we will get one discrete signal and it would be x of nts now they are asking in which of the following cases it, this signal x of nts would be periodic so the concept that i have told for the discrete time signal the ratio the ratio should be rational and if the ratio is rational the signal is periodic correct they are asking when will our signal be periodic among this four correct then check the ratio t by ts it is equal to root 2 
it is irrational so it would not be periodic t by t s the ratio is 1.2 that is 12 by 10 yes it is rational so it is periodic so the answer is b so i hope you got the video it is pretty simple like this was the tricky question among all three because the question was x of t periodic in period t if it is sampled we will get one discrete signal and for the discrete signal the ratio we have to check always this is the culprit for the discrete signal the ratio we have to check if the ratio is rational the signal is periodic so just we check the ratio and we found that the answer b was correct i hope you like the video if you did Please make sure you subscribe to my channel and share with your friends because more such awesome gate questions and the gate topics will come in the future. So friends, if you like my video, then do like this video, share with your friends and subscribe to my YouTube channel. So we'll see you in the next video. Till then, take care. This is Shrenik Jain. Peace out.